Hello and welcome to today's class. Today's class is simply a continuation of our previous class on minima, maxima, and curve sketching. If you've not watched our first class on minima, maxima, and curve sketching, please check the description of this video and you see a link to the first class so you have a better understanding of what we are doing here. All right, so having said that, um, Let's look at how to find minima maxima and how to sketch curves using the second derivative test. The second derivative test is actually a faster method of um, getting minima and maxima. Now, how does that work? Now, recall that um, from our first example. Uh, okay, so here's what to note before then. Here's what to note, please. Note this. Note that a point or a turning point is called a maximum if d squared y over dx squared is negative. So here, the condition is that for maxima, for maxima, d squared y over dx squared is negative. That's for maxima. While it will be called a minimum point or a minima, so for, for minima, we'll have that d squared y all over dx squared is positive. Is positive. So I have this. All right. Also, a turning point is called a point of inflection if d squared y over dx squared changes sign. So for, for a point of inflection, d squared y over dx squared changes sign. All right. So we've done a whole lot on, on this. We took an example. Our example was that y is equal to, please help me with the example, please. You had what there? 3x squared, no, x, 2x cubed. So y is equal to, we had y is equal to 2x cubed, uh -huh, minus 9x squared plus 12x minus 4. So we had this. And from this here, we find or we found our first derivative where we had dy over dx as being equal to 6x squared minus 18x plus 12. So we got this. From here, we got out the factors of this in which we said our factors were x minus 1 or, okay, fine, we had x minus 1 and x minus 2. We had these as the factor. So if you solve this, you have x minus 1 and x minus 2. Such that after substituting into this, we had two points. Our point A was 2, 0 and our point B was 1, 1. We had these two points. Um, as I said, I've explained this in details in our first class. So if you missed the first class, please check the description of this video, you'll see a link to the first class for a better understanding of how we got to this point. Right, so at this point, this is where the second derivative test takes place. How does it work? Let's take the point A at A equal to 2, 0. To use second derivative test, of course it says second derivative. That means I have to find what there, d squared y over dx squared. That means I am differentiating y twice. If I differentiate the first one here, I will have this as dy over dx. Let's now find our d squared y over dx squared term. From here, d squared y all over dx squared is equal to, this gives you what there? 12x minus, differentiate I have what there? 18. All right, so this is my d squared y over dx squared um, term. Let's put, so this is my x and this is my y. Let's put x as 2 here. If I put x as 2 into this equation, that will be equal to, that becomes 12 into 2 minus 18. So I have this. All right, what's my answer here? This is equal to, this is 24 minus 8. What do I have there? I have 6. Okay. Let's try as b, as b equal to 1 and 1. Put this into my equation, I will have that d squared y all over dx squared is equal to 
12 into for here this is x value that's 1 minus 18 that's equal to 12 times 1 12 minus 18 is what there minus 6 so what do you observe observe that um for this one here the square over the x squared is what there positive if the square y over the x squared is positive what does it tell you there that is what a minima you say for minima there the squared y over the x squared is positive that means this one here is a minima also observe that at this point one and one that the square over the x squared is what there a negative and we said when the square over the x squared is negative what does it mean there it means i have a maxima this one becomes a maxima all right so when you now get your minima or when you've now confirmed your minima and maxima point using second derivative test you now find the roots of this equation as we did in our previous class and then you can now sketch this so get the difference when you use first derivative test for this you look for the left hand side and right hand side by taking 0 0.5 as we did in our previous class why for second derivative you don't have to start looking for left hand side and right hand side it's not necessary just look for what there the squared y over the x squared put the value of x here and find the value if it is positive that's what there a minima simple also put the value of x here which is this one here into the squared y over the x squared if it's negative that means what there maxima so it's this simple so you can see that second derivative test is way faster shorter and easier than the first derivative test all right so this is how we do minima maxima and curve sketching and of course finally from here that's how we sketch this graph so we actually sketch we explained this graph in our first class when we use the first derivative test so make sure you check our first class um, to see how we use these concepts to sketch this curve all right so i've said before please the link to the first class is in the description of this video so do well to check it out um, later if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it um, leave a comment and subscribe to this channel see you in our next class